what you're doing? Okay. I'm watering. Because? Well, for two, three reasons, actually. To bring the microbes, the worms, to the surface where the organic green material is existing that we're trying to get rid of. And then it interacts with the carbon material and the moisture, air, and feedstock provide the compost environment. So, make sense? It does, <laughs> thank you. This Jeffrey, why don't you tell me what you're doing today? We're gonna try to install the foundations for the other two greenhouses, the kit greenhouses. We already have the uh, foundation down for the uh, one solid greenhouse that's coming, but um, so we're going to put four by sixes, you know, four of them on each one of them, and nice, you know, within a quarter inch of level, hopefully, and square and plumb and all like that, and uh, uh, hold it down with ground anchors, these 16 inch ground anchors that we have over here. So, um, oh, these are the little guys, those are little guys. So we screw these into the ground and uh, hold the whole thing down so it all the, the greenhouses don't blow away in a big windstorm. So Great. Anyway, that's the plan. Thank you. We've initially watered the grass. Now we've laid the cardboard down. And now we're just lightly watering the cardboard, which will aid in the composition process. And then once we water this down, we'll move the mulch on top. Hey, tell us what you're doing today. Today, I am putting fish, fish tape into a pipe to be able to pull a rope, which then later will pull the wire to power the screen. Yeah, pull it this way so it's off the foundation. And where is it going? And it is going back to that panel and pulled back there. And why are you doing that? And why am I doing this? Yes. Uh, because I'm, this is what wire is going to get connected to. Pull it tighter? To bring yeah. power from that breaker box over there to this greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? It is. It's just like magic. Thank you, Gay. <laughs> Rick, can you tell me what you're doing now? So we've laid the cardboard, we've wet the cardboard, and now we're putting down a two to three inch layer of mulch, which will help in the, in the uh, composting of the grass. So in six to eight months, we should have nice rich soil underneath the cardboard. And if we were to want to plant in here, it would be great soil. So again, two to three inches of a good mulch. Uh, or you could have put a little compost down first, one to two inches, and then mulch on top of that. So basically just raking the mulch over the cardboard. Thank you, Rick. This is uh, the foundations for the two smaller greenhouses, the uh, kit type greenhouses. We already have the foundation in for the big aluminum one. So these are uh, four by sixes that we're going to install, screw them together, hold them down with ground anchors, plumb, level, all like that. So, uh, Any lasting words? And then we uh, sprayed again with uh, copper green because you can see here that the pressure treated on the outside doesn't go very far into the wood itself. So this wood is not protected at all from the bugs and everything. So got to have everybody upwind. But there you go. One more down.
Jeffrey, what are you doing today? Okay, what I'm doing, among other things, I'm rolling out the cardboard. We're doing uh, several layers, and we're wetting down the grass first, and then we're wetting the cardboard, <laughs> and then eventually it'll be mulch on top. And right now I'm just kicking this thing so it can be cut to size. And uh, what else am I doing? Do it. I'm going to do it. Jeff, tell me what you're doing today. Well, I'm here with a few other master gardeners doing some sheet mulching. Getting ready to uh, have our grand opening of our master gardener uh, gardening education center out here at the San Mateo Event Center. So we have a little bit of work to do. And uh, got a little wood chips here. We're going to we're out here putting the cardboard down, wetting the ground, and then uh, applying about three or four inches, maybe five inches of chips. And hopefully we'll get the grass to not come back. And uh, next time we're back here, you'll see how beautiful this is. So one of the keys to a successful large area sheet mulching project is to get as many of your friends to come over as possible. As you can see, we have a good turnout here. We've probably done about a, oh, two, one third of our space in a couple of hours and uh, we have teams. We have a team rolling out the cardboard and wetting it down and we have a team moving the mulch and we try to move people around so that they all get a chance to uh, experience uh, one of the two aspects of sheet mulching. So right now there is one circuit on for this pipe right here, this uh, outlet right here. This will also feed the, the shed and then there there are going to be three more 220 volt circuits that will go to each greenhouse. Laser level set up over here, and it's a red light, so I wear the red glasses so I can see it in sunlight. But we're trying to get the whole foundation within a quarter inch of level all the way around. And so this is just the beginning, but I want to make sure that this is, I got to see where the high spot is and where the low spot is. So we'll set the ones on the low spots and then we'll have to dig down a little bit for the high spot because I want everything resting on the ground. This morning, I hadn't signed up, but I figured it was better to show up than sign up. So I decided to show up. And what are you eating there? I am eating a wonderful brownie. It's uh, going to bring me right back to full steam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.